Hey y'all, this is Pamela, and I got uh, another uh, piece of my haul video from the World's Longest Yard Sale, but I wanted to give y'all an update on my um, wrist. Um, I was supposed to go back to the orthopedist tomorrow, and um, over the weekend it was just giving me fits, giving me fits, and some of y'all might have seen me uh, post last night on Instagram where I had to jerry-rig me a ice pack up on there but it was just worrying me because it was getting to where I couldn't move it at all and that brace that I had to wear with it keeps the whole bottom of it stiff to where you can't bend your fingers and do anything so anyway I got really down in the dumps about it yesterday and I but anyway I got up this morning and I called my chiropractor Dr. Hitchner and um, I asked him if I could come in and if, and see what he thought about it. And he said, well, sure. So I run on down there, but um, he just gave me some good news. He said that he told me that it, he felt like if I kept on going to them and um, that they'd wind up wanting to do surgery on my wrist. I said, well, they're probably talking about it. And... Um, he said, well, I don't think you need to. But anyway, so he did some ultrasound, and then they did a heat massage where they rubbed something on it and, and did a massage all up and down, kind of like a deep tissue massage on your back or whatever, and it feels 100% better today. Now, I still have to wear this dadgum brace, but I don't have to wear it except when I sleep at night. So that's going to make me feel a lot better. So I'm going to um, go ahead and try to get through this haul video because I couldn't do one with that thing on there because I, I couldn't hold, you know, it will not let me grip nothing or anything. But anyway, I've got a good outlook on it. It feels 100% better today after I had that. And I'm going back to him Thursday and they're going to keep on working on it. So um, thank you to all y'all who have said something to me about it and and wish me uh, good luck and praying for me and everything. I sure do appreciate it. But I've got a little haul video and I'm gonna, um, but I also got a box of friend mail and I've just, I've had it for several days, about five days and I've been dying to open it. So uh, I'm gonna do some of the haul and um, then I'm gonna open the friend mail and then um, I'm gonna get that uploaded and then I'll come back and finish the rest of this haul. But now, this is from that little spot. I hadn't showed y'all this part of the uh, shop with me yet, but this is a little part in, um, oh Lord, I can't remember the name of the town in Alabama, but I, I'll, I'll remember it and put it in or something. But anyway, this was a good little spot here. I liked it. It was uh, just a bunch of homes and uh, personal homes and uh, individual yard sales and stuff, and the prices was very good here. So I had a I had a good time here, so. The uh, first thing in this was, this bag was a dollar for the three pieces in here. Well, honey, I seen this one box right here, and lo and behold, wouldn't you know it, that tonight, Miss Stone Home was on there. She had a video talking about things that she is gonna do with her uh, ornament hanger boxes, and look at here, look at here what I found. Now, I have never in my life, this is Frank's Quality Made in USA, 10 cents. And at first, I thought that maybe this was like a, a reproduction box, you know, because sometimes they do that, like the shiny brights and stuff. But I really think that they are actually old because, see, my hands still don't work right. <laughs> Doggone, it's awful getting old. But see how the box is yellowed and everything? And then the hangers inside of them are the old hangers. So so I believe it really is old. But I was just tickled to death to get this and um, put it in my Christmas, you know, Christmas display this year. But now that, so that would have been like 33 cents if all three of these things, you know, if they hadn't priced out at the dollar for the bag, been 33 cents. And then this little girl, just this little pose. Is she pose? Oh, yeah, 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 she moves. Little poseable girl, little just beady eyes. She don't have no uh, stickers on her or anything. And then just this little felt, little like a Mrs. Claus, I guess. But she was in real good shape, I thought. So I was proud to get them three. And that was the sweetest little woman where, uh, where I got this stuff and this bag of stuff right here. And I believe this and the bag of stuff right here is all I'm going to be able to show 
and still be able to have time to open my friend mail. But I am going to stay up and do this because um, I'm just so thankful that I that I feel better today. I'm going to stay up and do it. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, now this and these, this bag of three little things was from the same little old lady. And um, this bag was $2.00. For the, and she had this just taped over like that. And I couldn't really tell what was in there. And I, I hadn't even looked at it since we got home. But I saw some older things in it. Okay, it's just an old pink ribbon. And just some of that gold um, stuff that comes around like department store gift boxes. Lord, I'll read it five minutes. Eureka, 154 gold foil decorations. 91.90 on the back. And it don't have any price sticker on it, or I sure would send that on to Miss, Miss Stone Home, but it's just all those little foil stickers. I want just several little, like I guess that's 1970s or 80s little gift tags, a couple of them. Just an old retro looking, uh, this is just made to look old. It's, it's new, but it's made to look like a Victorian style ornament. And these are just sales. Oh, here's me a tag I can send to her. Mitzi's second place. A little bitty vintage tag there. But these are just seals, and it looks like they're all uh, just gold seals are they all stockings yeah they're all little stockings like that in this little plastic case looks like there's maybe two of them in there oh no there's four boxes of them four boxes and lordy mercy look at these little santa clauses that was in there these little santa claus face seals just all stuck together. So we've got Rocky Horses. I guess that's the partridge in the pear tree. And some more stockings. So them's cute as a button. And here's another Christmas tag. And a Merry Christmas. Just a gold full thing. And I believe this is just a package topper. I mean, a, you know, a tag like thing. What is this? School Buddy Letter Assorted <coughs> Self Sticking Stars. Full stars. And that's not that old because it's got that barcode there. And just some wreath, Merry Christmas. And just a, a gift bag that's just um got an old looking thing. Well, I want you to look here. Christmas greetings. May this holiday be a jolly day for you and yours. Look at them babies climbing up them stairs with that puppy. And their little candles and their jammies. How cute. And another little Christmas seal. Okay, now I'm gonna stop on this bag right here at that and go ahead, cause Lord, I done, see, I done told y'all all about my darn hand and wasted all my time. Oh, I gotta get my scissors. Hang on a second. But this is from uh, Abby at uh, Cozy Curated Co Cottage on uh, YouTube. And, uh, she's got a little Etsy store, too. And I ordered some things from her. But I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand it. Oh, Lord, she wraps stuff so cute, too. I want you to look at here. Let me put that box down here. Look at here how cute she's got that wrap. With that little wrap here and that vintage tag on there with those little morning glories. Oh, I can't wait to see what's in here. 
I feel this. I know. I think I know what this is. She's yes, yes, yes. Oh, I've got a project to, uh, for my bedroom, as y'all know, uh, using uh, vintage hankies, and she sent me some more of those. That pretty, pretty blue. Oh, look here. Here's one with that just a sweet little lady embroidered on it. Oh, look at this vibrant, vibrant blue. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that's going to be pretty on it. Because, see, the way I'm going to use them, they're going to be hanging like this. You know, like up from the middle like that all together. So those are going to be, you, you did good, Abby. You did good picking these out, baby. Oh, here's another one. Look here. Look at that. That looks, reminds me of a piece of blue willow. Oh, look at this purple. Look at that. Oh, my word. Well, you know I'm loving those. <laughs> now, let's see what's in this one. Oh my god. I saw these when she was when she got them and I just Oh Abby, you shouldn't have, but honey, I'm glad you did. Y'all look here. I want you to look at all these vintage cards this baby has sent me. I'm going to have to lay these out and, and let y'all see them. Well, no, maybe not. Maybe not. We're just going to look at them like this. Santa Claus. To Mommy. Happy Mother's Day. How stinking cute is that? A recipe for a nice day. Looky there. Look at this mouse. Oh my stars. Oh my stars. Look at this one to the sweetest mother in the world. Here's another one for your mom on her birthday. Look at that little chick inside there. And spelling out mom. Look at that little bird. And all them look, look at that. <gasps> oh my God. Just dropping everything. To wish you a happy birthday. Please pardon me for busting in on your privacy. How <laughs> cute is that? Look at her face. Oh my God. Look at there. So you've got a new baby. And look at this note on the back of here. I can't wait to read that. Look at there. I cannot believe she has sent me all this. I'm going to have to do something special in your little treat box. <coughs> Looky here at these cats. Lord have mercy. Okay. I'm almost at 15 minutes already, so I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to turn this off, and we're going to look at the rest of them real good when, uh, when I start my second haul video from this. Abby, thank you so much, baby. I love you pieces, and thank you for this. I can't stand it. <laughs> I'll see y'all in a little bit in my next video. Bye.